And today I'm going to give you a rundown of my Garmin Live Scope on my new Canoe Unlimited. I've got everything rigged up finally how I kind of like it. I might tweak some things here and there, but generally speaking, I've got it running pretty good. I was out here today testing it. Didn't catch any fish, but I still had a blast chasing the fish today because you could actually see them with it. So it's a lot of fun. Let's get to it. So let's start at the front where the craziness is all taking place. As you can tell, I've got a battery here. This is the Dakota Lithium 23 amp hour. I haven't ran it enough to know how long it's actually going to last me, but I mean, for a two hour trip today, it lasted and I expected it to last, you know, at least all day running my electronics. Then you can see all the craziness down here with all the wires running everywhere but it keeps them contained in here and i kind of like that about this gear pod this is the unlimited gear pod for the front of the kayak and then you can see my black box with all the wires i've got more cable running here just to keep it stored out of the way and it closes up nicely hides it you can't ever ever even tell now this little contraption on the front is actually a yak attack uh, paddle holder but it also works perfectly for my live scope kind of mount thing that I made and it sets right here so I can travel with it it locks it down secures it and I don't got to worry about hauling in and out in my truck or you know undoing wires unplugging them running all of it it stays all together I really really like that about you know having this thing attached on here it works great then you can see I've got my monitor here it's just a little garmin uh, 73 i think echo map and my wires run out of my box to the back of it i'm still got the transducer cable all wadded up and obviously the transducer up top here it goes into the water on that side i like to keep that transducer opposite side of my live scope because it kind of runs a little bit of interference but today I, I didn't have too much of a problem with it being on the other side. I think I was picking it up a little bit, but I think I'm just going to have to live with that because I really don't have any other place to put it. Now let's get to the pride and joy here. Pull this closer so I don't got to get in the water. All right. As you can see, it's got the handle up top. It's made out of, what is this? One inch PVC? Yes. One inch PVC. Obviously it needs paint job but it was just the mock-up kind of thing and i like i said i think i've got it to where i want it i've got the handle here that points in the right direction whichever way this handle's pointing that's the direction that my beam is shooting and then i've got a you know the pipe right here i actually bought a knob for the a trolling motor depth control knob i think that's what it's called and it works great you know i can unscrew it and you'll see that it slides down. I can pull it back up. I can set this to whatever depth I want. If I want it all the way out of the water like I do, I can pull it up, set it there, ready to rock and roll. The next thing that I did was get, I think this was an inch and a quarter PVC. And I didn't need very much. I really put it too much just to have a little bit of leeway. But... This inch and a quarter allows these U-bolts to secure the PVC to this little piece of plastic. And then the inch PVC here slides in and out of the uh, inch and a quarter PVC. So everything's, you know, it, it, it moves up and down really nice. I can twist it, no problems. It's great. I, I really, really like the design. I stole it off of a guy and I can't remember what his name is, but I'll leave his channel linked in the description below. And I actually plan on making my own version because I changed it up a little bit than his, um, my own video of making this. So if that's posted, I'll put it in one of the cards or at the end of this video. But at the very bottom, you can see that I've got another cap that way my mount doesn't just hit something and slide off and start flinging around and it's a pain in the butt to get back on it's all glued on there it shouldn't come off 
it's worked really well the other thing is i found this piece of plastic i honestly i think i found it at this boat ramp that i'm at today and i just cut it to shape how i needed it drilled a hole in it and took this old i think this was a transducer mount is what this actually was and i just kind of rigged it to where it would work with this that way i can fold it out of the way you know if i need to pick it up and pull it out of the water i can or leave it set in there and i can pick it up multiple ways basically is why i did that i can kind of pivot it around you know pick it up and pivot it if i need to whatever just to get out of a sticky situation and it's really easy to take off all i gotta do is unscrew this and this unit comes off and it goes over here onto the paddle holder so that's my mount and live scope system that i run on my unlimited like i said i'm actually just getting it set up and making it to where how i want to run how i think I, it needs to be so if you've got any recommendations on how to improve it leave them down in the comments below and i'll see what i can do as far as improvements but right now i'm loving it it's working great so if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and watch another one especially if you're interested in getting a trolling motor i'll leave my review on the xi3 on the front of this boat actually and i gotta say i really like it but there's a few things that i don't and you'll have to watch that video to figure out what they are i'll catch you later